The development of the RTC program started with some videos I saw three or four years ago by Mike Hewitt. Mike had did some work understanding and decoding the packets sent between the remote and the TIU and published those a few years back. I took the what he had done and I expanded on it, added some features, and I wrote the RTC program, which basically works very similar to Mike's interface, and that is it's a wired interface to the TIU. The PC connects out a USB port, which con gets converted to RS-232, which then gets fed in to the TIU. And this works fairly well. It's a good solid interface, very reliable. It has one disadvantage, of course, though, is that when you're connected to the TIU, that TIU is not listening for other handheld remotes. And at the same time, the PC program is connected only to that one TIU. So if you have a system layout with three, four, five TIUs, uh, the, the wired version is cumbersome. So the obvious next step is to figure out how to do it by radio. That is how to connect the PC to the TIU by radio, the same way that the remotes connect to the TIU. I started working on this late last year, took a lot of stumbles, but finally worked out the solution. The, the work I did is based on information I found on the internet, finding the frequencies that the remote and TIU communicate on based on filings with the FCC. Uh, I had one posting on one technical website where the poster commented that he thought the communications was done via off-on keying. Other posters uh, helped me finally understand that there was a chipset out there called the TICC-1101 that could do this OOK, or on-off keying, protocol. At the same time, I found another post on the Internet that talked about the radio chip that was in the remote, and that was also Texas Instruments TRF-6901. I dig up the spec on that chip and learned that, indeed, it does do the OOK protocol along with a frequency shift keying protocol. My second thought was that since Mike had understood the wired interface to the TIU as 9600 baud, eight data bits, one stop bit, no parity, there was a good chance that the radio interface used exactly the same protocol. Well, after many, many stumbles, I finally did determine that, yes, indeed, that was the case. The radio uses OOK protocol. Uh, it looks like RS-232, 8N1, just like the wired interface. So I found a board that had the CC1101 on it, and here it is. This is a board called a pan stamp. Uh, this board I bought on the Internet from a company in Spain who makes them. Uh, it has an Arduino processor on it and a CC1101. That's the, the radio chip. So it took, it took months. I finally figured it out. I figured out how to program the CC1101 radio in OOK mode. I understood finally how to make it speak the correct baud rates, the correct frequencies, correct bandwidths. Uh, it's a fairly complex chip to program, but I now have it working and I'll show you a little demonstration. So I'm going to plug it in. It plugs in via USB port. The lights blink a few times as it's initializing. I have in front of me also a MTH Aliquippa and Southern Diesel. And there's a TIU right behind it, so I'm, a, I'm about a foot away from the TIU, although I have tested this at 
50 feet and it seems to work just fine. It's connected via the USB port to my RTC program. The RTC program works the same way over the radio interface as it works over the TIU wired interface. So I'm going to connect up. You'll notice a, a few lights blink as communication starts up. I'm going to press the startup button for this uh, ANS engine. You'll see the lights blink and you should hear the engine start up. So my RTC program just sent the exact same commands over the radio interface that it had sent previously over the wired interface. there I just sent a shutdown command. So this radio right now, the, the good news is that this is really a very inexpensive setup. Uh, the bad news is, is that the Panstamp group is in the process of redesigning this radio board. So this particular version of the Panstamp board that I use is no longer available. Uh, I'm waiting for them to come out with a new version.